Sony has just announced their next electric car, the Vision S. Wait, what? Yes, at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, Sony has actually announced a car. Now, they didn't really give any details on this car, but this is really exciting. This is Tesla's Apple versus Android moment. There's been a lot of comparisons of Tesla to Apple. Tesla is the Apple of the car world. You have the old auto manufacturers that are BlackBerry, and then you have Tesla, who's Apple, that comes out with the new version of the car. This is what cars are gonna be. And Sony showing this concept car that may never actually be created is kind of supporting that theory. Once manufacturers started seeing how successful Android could be, you had everybody jumping on top of each other. It started with HTC, they were very successful. Then LG started with the good phones, and then Samsung just took over, and they pretty much are still at the top for Android, depending on who you talk to. But this is just so exciting. The car has a bunch of screens on the inside, they talk about it has a bunch of sensors on the outside for safety, and they say it's on a platform that will allow them to also turn this into an SUV. I mean, this is just crazy. It's so cool, and you know what? I think we're gonna keep seeing this. I cannot wait to see Samsung's car, that's what I was tweeting. This thing actually looks pretty cool. It's kind of like some kind of hybrid of Tesla and Porsche and some other cars. Like Nick said on Twitter, it's like a combination of all these different electric cars that we already know about. So they only showed the car for a few minutes and they of course didn't talk about price. They are working with another company, Magna, that helped them produce this prototype. So maybe with Magna, they'll be able to produce more cars or just a small amount. The difference between electric cars and old internal combustion engines is they are much simpler. There are way less moving parts. So while it's still difficult to make a car, it still takes a lot of capital and a lot of work, other companies can quickly enter this space with not as much research as an internal combustion engine car. You just need good batteries, which you can buy from someone else, slap some wheels on the thing, and you got a car. Even better if it has big, huge screens all over the place. Now, Sony did say this prototype embodies our contribution to the future of mobility. So that makes me believe they actually want to make this thing. They're actually going to sell it. Again, I think especially as we see the cost of batteries dropping in the future, which is happening faster and faster, you're going to see more and more of this. Sony's coming out, Samsung's gonna be in it, LG's gonna be in it. I mean, heck, Samsung and LG already make everything under the sun anyway. They make washers and dryers and vacuums and phones and TVs and bulldozers and pretty much anything you can buy. It's made by those guys. So this was just some really exciting news I wanted to share with you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I want to talk all about it in the comments with you. So comment down below what you think of Sony announcing a car. It's kind of ridiculous. I still can't believe I'm even saying it. Uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show also, there are auto manufacturers there sometimes showing off their tech and everything. Um, but cars are becoming consumer electronics. And it's awesome. It's really awesome. Thank you for watching. And you'll see me in the next video.